Hi everybody, it's Audrey, and in today's video, I want to talk about seven free ways that you can dress better in 2020. First up is to go against the grain or opposite of what everyone else is doing. So every couple months, trends kind of rotate. We see things really just saturate the world around us and then Instagram and other social media and magazines. And it can be really fun to participate, but I encourage you not to participate because you feel like you have to, and you have this pressure to kind of conform and rather cultivate your style in a way that's unique to you, something that feels authentic to you. It is always easy to opt out of something, and most importantly, it's always free to opt out of a trend. So rather than hopping on board because everyone else is doing it, really focusing in on what's going to work for your style in the long run, and then adding some trends here and then to really you know, enhance things and make fashion fun. Next is to finally wear your power color. I spend a lot of time talking about color on this channel. I think it's a really great part of your personal style evolution that should definitely be considered. And when you find a color that makes you feel fantastic, incorporating that into your wardrobe is a beautiful way to set your style apart and ensure that you really love wearing everything you have. Now, chances are, even if you haven't gone down this journey before, you probably have one of these power colors already in your closet because when you put it on you feel great so i really encourage you to go through what you already have in your closet and find that power color and then wear it and wear it proudly in my experience, just wearing a color that looks great on you is a wonderful way to transform the rest of your wardrobe. By taking the same pair of pants and wearing it with a vibrant top rather than something you may have worn in the past, you instantly upgrade your style. The longer I spend on my own personal style journey and really cultivating a wardrobe that can grow with me throughout the years, the more I realize how important attention to detail is. And it's sometimes even more important than the individual pieces that you're wearing. So my next free way to dress better in 2020 is to really pay attention to those details, making sure that everything is steamed and ironed, making sure that if something needs to be repaired, you're taking the time to do that. So mending any loose seams, repairing buttons, maybe changing out the buttons on something for a set that you've had maybe hanging around to really upgrade a piece in your wardrobe. And then I also really encourage you to pay attention to the details in styling. So rather than just putting on your shirt, and leaving it as is, maybe unbutton a couple buttons, roll the sleeves, tuck it in, do a half tuck, maybe cuff your pants. These are things I've discussed in a lot of my past videos because the attention to detail in your outfit and, a set, and especially in your styling really sets you apart. You look fantastic. It's one of the easiest free ways to dress better and it never fails. My next tip is to reconsider your shoes. So it's very easy to get in a rut and certainly as the year comes to a close, we typically have things that we've been wearing a lot and they can start to feel a touch stale. So rather than feel like you need to buy a bunch of new things and totally redo your wardrobe, I encourage you just to change up the pairings that you're working with. And more often than not, the easiest way to do that is with your shoes. And just by doing that, you can really take an outfit that you've been wearing a bunch and make it look so much better. Along those same lines, I encourage you to look at every outfit you put together as a blank canvas. We have so many things in our control when we get dressed, and my personal favorite to play around with is symmetry or proportion. So when I'm putting on my clothes, I tend to play around with the same proportion ratios because I like how it looks on me. It's taken a lot of years to find that, and when I want to feel a certain way, I know that certain proportions will allow me to achieve that. So finding that for yourself is a great way to dress better. It can make your clothes feel totally fantastic and make you feel like you have a whole new lease on your wardrobe. By playing around with the torso length and the leg length, and then again playing with your shoes to kind of enhance all of that, you can really transform everything. If you've been to this channel before, then you know how much I love a uniform. Now when I say uniform, I mean an outfit that makes you feel great. Something you can rely on for maybe work, or the weekend, or running errands, or a, an event, a party. Something that's going to suit your lifestyle that in a pinch you can throw on and know that you're going to feel amazing in, I think is fantastic. I think it is definitely essential for everyone's personal style. And spending the time to find that for yourself is one of the easiest and free ways to dress better. Because when you find something perfectly in synergy with you, people really notice that. They don't notice your clothes as much as they notice you and the thoughtfulness that you put into your outfit. So if you haven't done that yet, definitely spend the time doing that for yourself in 2020. And last but not least is confidence and good posture. I think there is nothing more important in your personal style 
lifestyle journey than cultivating those two things for yourself. Everything looks better when you walk into a room with confidence and you know your value and you know that you're contributing valuable things to the world around you. And then on top of that, when you have good posture, people just want to be around you. That's something very, not only healthy for your body, but something contagious. So spend the time to really practice that for yourself. And when you feel yourself getting a little hunched over, make sure you're rolling your shoulders back and standing straight and feeling confident in yourself and knowing that you deserve the attention and you deserve people to look at you and take note and think, wow, look at that. That's a confident, happy person. Because when you bring that energy into your life, I think it translates into everything else. And there you have it. Those are seven free ways to dress better in 2020. I hope that you liked this and it inspired you, gave you some things to add to your own wardrobe. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, I would love to have you subscribe. I post new videos every week all about fashion and culture cultivating your personal style. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.